Hey humans, today we are discussing ignorance and why it's an important tool for the creative person's arsenal here on today's installment of Motivational Talks. I know what you're thinking. Isn't ignorance always bad? I don't want to be dumb. Well, being ignorant and being dumb aren't the same thing. So let's define ignorance. Lack of knowledge or information. Very simple. So every human on the planet is born almost totally ignorant. And then later we die still ignorant of most things because you or me or anyone should not and cannot know everything. This is a music channel, so odds are very high that you are a musician yourself. Even better if you're not. Today we are asking ourselves, can you be inspired by your own ignorance? We're tapping into something here, stay with me. I'm gonna use myself as an example. I am a bassist. Was that a good cut? I don't know, I didn't plan on it. I have a fairly high knowledge of this instrument, this specific instrument that I've been playing for 22 years. This xylophone, however, that's a different story. I have never played it, literally. It belongs to my studio partner, which is why it's here. We're gonna come back to this xylophone here in a second, but right now we gotta ask ourselves, how would ignorance of an instrument help in creativity? Does that even make sense? Why would not being good at something help you create something from it? For me, I think there are two main factors when confronting the unknown and the unknown instrument and the unknown in the world. This is very metaphysical we're talking here, but let's focus on music. Number for one, it focuses your intention, not attention, your intention. You're more likely to find something and stick with it. Point being is when you don't know how to use the instrument in the way it was intended or taught, your focus gets hyped. The second big factor for me when playing an instrument that you don't know is that it increases happy accidents. Some of you might know this term from working in a studio or hearing about studio stuff. When we're playing with all this outboard gear and things, sometimes a machine goes funky, it does a skip, and it does something weird, and it ends up on the record, and it's cool. Same thing can happen when you're playing an instrument that is not your own. You might accidentally discover a melodic idea that you didn't know. You might discover a rhythmic idea or a sonic idea. Who knows? I'm literally, I'm gonna turn around and just hit this thing and just see what happens. I actually legitimately like that. Like that's not a melodic idea that if I picked up the bass, which is I write melodies on, I wouldn't write that. And look at that, just, just random, totally random. You just witnessed firsthand why this can be a cool tool for creativity. You could easily stop there at what I just demonstrated and experience great fulfillment in your life. But I wanna teach you one little uh, technique in creativity that I like to employ, and it's really quite simple. Step one, take something that you don't know how to play, like this xylophone. And step two, pair it with something that you know well. For me, the Digitech Whammy Pedal. Now we're cooking with gas. Gas, my Midwestern accent really came out with that one. So let's just go back to that example of this. Let's do that and let's throw the whammy on it. Maybe it would be, maybe it would sound cool, uh, high pitched and weird. Maybe it would sound cool uh, as a bass line. I'm liking where this is going. Let me just do one more thing with the whammy. The whammy can do chords, it can do harmonies. So that's kind of fun. Just because you're here, I just want to hear it. Before this motivational talk descends into whammy xylophone madness, I'm just gonna put that aside for a second. I'm gonna try to record something right now, and if I succeed, you'll hear it at the end of this video. That's really it today, short and sweet. I wanna conclude by saying total ignorance of everything music will very likely not yield the results you're after. That's not what I'm talking about today. Your knowledge and taste in music will always transcend the physical world, and these objects that 
are surrounding us and that we make videos about and we use at home are just here to bring forth that metaphysical thing that's happening in your brain into the planet, into the physical realm. That's not hippy dippy. That's not, that's just really what's happening when we create music. Your knowledge of music and uh, has to still be fundamentally strong. We're just talking about ignorance of an object, an ignorance of a, a technique, something that you haven't played with or mastered. It can do really, really fun things for the mind. It's very good for you. It's something uh, a lot of uh, philosophies called like the childlike mind, the childlike state. And anything to kind of force yourself into the childlike mind or state is greatly beneficial to your creativity. But I'm curious, do you have any stories about playing unfamiliar instruments? Share them with the class below. Thanks for watching. And with that, as always, is peace and be good to each other. Motivational talk!